and welcome back to another Simply Back episode. It's been a really, really long time since I last sat down to film a video. So let me just give you a very, very quick update. I don't want to bother you guys. You guys keep asking me what's happening. Why am I not um, uploading regularly? Am I okay? And stuff like that. So let me just give you a very, very quick update. I am okay. Thank you very much for all your messages and concern. The reason why I'm not uploading as frequent as before, it's because I started university. So my hands right now are so, so full. Um, not many of you know, but YouTube is not my job. YouTube is just a hobby. I have a full-time job. I have two boys at home and now on top of that I have university. So obviously my life is very very chaotic at the moment, it's very very busy. So I kind of had to put YouTube on standby for a little bit. Don't worry, I am not giving up on YouTube. I will still try to upload as much as I can. But I just hope that you guys understand that it will not be a weekly thing anymore but I will try my best and that I promise I will try my best to upload as often as I can so yeah that's the little update done let's get into the fun stuff and talk about today's case today's story happened in 1957 in Hexham England the Pollock sisters, 11-year-old Joanna and 6-year-old Jacqueline, were on their way to church when they got struck by a driver. They died instantly and it was later discovered that the person that hit them was actually under a lot of drugs as she had previously been forced to leave her own children. It's needless to say that this became a very, very big case here in England with the driver ending up in a psychiatric hospital. Following the twin's death, the parents were obviously devastated but good news came soon when, after just a year, Florence Pullock, the mom, fell pregnant again. Now, with this new pregnancy, John, which is the twin's father, became convinced that his wife was going to have twins and they were going to be the reincarnation of their sisters. At this point, the couple started to argue quite a bit because they were both Catholics and Florence did not believe at all um, in reincarnation and she didn't like to talk about it. But John was convinced that she would have twins and they would be the reincarnation of their sisters, which made Florence almost filing for a divorce. There was also no history of twins in both parents' sides and the doctor had predicted that this would be a single birth, meaning that the likelihood of having twins was super low. Against all odds, however, Florence did in fact have twins in 1958. They called the girls Gillian and Jennifer and their day of birth was October the 4th. Now, while the twins were identical, they did have two different birthmarks, which is considered highly unlikely. Jennifer had a small mark on her left hip which mimicked a birthmark that Jacqueline had and she also had another birthmark on her forehead, a very, very tiny one, that mimicked a scar that Jacqueline had when she was alive. When the twins were only three years old, the family decided to reallocate to a small town called Wheatley Bay. And as the girls got older, it became clear that they were very familiar with Hexham, so the previous town that the family lived with Joanna and Jacqueline. And when the family returned to Hexham with the girls when they were about four years old, the twins pointed out and named landmarks that they have never seen before, such as, for example, the school that Jacqueline and Joanna attended, or the playground. The twins even seemed to know the way to the playground without having ever seen it. 
And another insane thing is that the twins were able to identify their late sister's toys by name. And although Florence had locked away, uh, you know, the late girl's um, toys when they died and had never showed them to the twins, the girl started to ask for certain toys back. It was almost like the twins remembered those toys as their own. And they could also identify which toys were given to them by Santa and which ones weren't. The parents also noticed that the twins even enjoyed the same games as the later girls. Now, in the middle of all this craziness, Florence kept on saying, I do not believe they are the reincarnation. I, I don't see it. I think this is just coincidence. They are children. It was only when Florence found the girls talking about the car accident that she began to change her mind. On one occasion, Florence caught the girls recreating their sister's accident. Gillian was cradling her sister's head and telling her, the blood is coming out of your eyes. That's where the car hit you. Oh my God, I just got goosebumps. <laughs> oh, that, that must have been so terrifying to hear. If something like this was happening to my kids, oh, I, 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 I can't even um, begin to understand what this family felt like. And another crazy thing that happened as well was that one day Florence caught them again talking about last memories and Gillian pointed to Jennifer's birthmark on her forehead and said that is the mark that Jennifer got when she fell on a bucket. Which, according to the mom, was exactly how their sister got the scar in her forehead. Gillian and Jennifer would also feel very, very threatened when close to cars. You could see that every time they were around cars, they were very frightened, they were very anxious, and they would often grab each other, like hug each other, and scream, the car is coming to get us. Now, after the twins turned five, um, the memories kind of started to fade away. They wouldn't talk about it as regularly, and they kind of went on to live normal lives. But while the twins lost their memories of the accident entirely, Gillian did later recall experiencing visions of herself playing in a sandpit at home in Wickham. She was able to perfectly describe the house and the garden that matched the home that Joanna had once lived with her parents when she was around four years old. Like I say in every video, I am not trying to convince you guys that this is true. I am not telling you, guys, believe this, this is a fact. I am entirely leaving up to you to decide what you think about this story. As for my opinion, because you guys always like to know what I think as well, I believe in reincarnation. I'm not saying that every single story that you read online, it's true and actually happened, but I do believe that reincarnation is a real thing and I do believe that some children are in fact talking the truth and it wouldn't surprise me one bit if these twins were actually the reincarnation of their later sisters. Now please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I love to read your comments, your stories. You guys always give me such good, you know, insights of other things that you read or you've been through or please just keep all those comments coming in because I love to read them. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. 
If yes, please give me a thumbs up because it really helps my channel to grow and to get out there. Thank you so much for watching and being here with me till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and join the family if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next episode.